afternoon YouTubers, it's Greg here again at GDB Recovery and Rescue, also known as a newly established YouTuber. So today I'm currently on the M6 on junction 15 to 16 northbound, heading out up to Warrington to collect a Tesla Model X. A lot of people ask, how many Teslas do you recover? They always break down, being that true. The answer is no, not really. The only reason I'm recovering this one today, like the rest of them, is just for flat tyres. I can't say I've ever picked up a mechanical broken down Tesla. This video is not sponsored or endorsed by Tesla or Elon Musk, is it? Um, no. But yeah, that answers a lot of people's questions. Do they break down a lot? I don't personally pick them up very often at all only when they've got flat tyres. Now, just want to start off, well I've already started off, but I've not posted for a while, so I want to say a big thank you to all the followers on YouTube and the Facebook page, mainly the YouTube because we've reached just over 1300 subscribers. Now yeah, I understand it's not a lot compared to other people out there, like fucking Kylie Kardashian and Kendall Jenner's whatever, you know, they've got hundreds of millions. Well, guess what? For a little recovery channel that was made up as a knock-up, it's sound. So to get 1,300 of you watching it, absolutely brilliant, fantastic news. Um, what else have I got to say? I've got loads, like Ford Transit Mark 7 is painted. It's got beacons on. It's got all the machines and the equipment. It's working. Just got a couple of little minor amendments to make on it, and it's being finished sign writing today. Uh, Ford Transit Mark 6 recovery truck is in the body shop. That should be back Monday or Tuesday. Still yet to install the new winch and roof beacon though, but I will get around to it soon. And the Jeep XJ, you saw it this morning on YouTube. So today is Saturday and I'm making this video on Saturday too. So I hope you like the little Jeep video. I know it's not everything right now this minute, but hey, Rome wasn't built in a day, but it did get built, and the Jeep will get finished too. So, lots on the agenda. I've not had time to reply to everybody's messages on YouTube and Facebook. I will obviously try my utmost best when I've got a little bit of downtime that I will reply. I do reply, but just give me a little bit of time. And with Facebook, I've got tons of messages. I'm still trying to run a business, but I also love the followers and the fans as well, so I will reply soon. And um, still getting the daily the daily comments on YouTube, where's your seatbelt, put your seatbelt on, look, I ain't got one, I can't put it on, it was made with no seatbelts, I know she's a beautiful truck, and she looks a million dollars, and she looks like a 2022 vehicle, but she's not, she's over 20 odd, 3, 4 year old, she was made with no seatbelts, and again, 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 a lot of you say high vis, look, I normally wear my high vis bottoms, I know certain whatever is about certain highways, regulation, and accidents wearing your hard hat, okay? Got a pink high vis, so, you know, this is my YouTuber pink high vis, okay? And I'm also wearing my shorts, because the vehicle I'm recovering is in a safe place. It's not on the motorway, not in the road size, it's in a safe place with a flat tire. Now you're asking, does mobile tires, why does it go out there and fit it? Well, I want it on, but it ain't got a locking wheel nut key with it and the customer that is with the vehicle cannot remove the plastic covers. So I don't want to book the job on, travel an hour and 10 minute in tyre van, charge them the call out fee and the mileage to get them to say, oh no, can't remove this one here, it needs to be back in the unit and uh, weld it off. So that's why they've now paid me to go up in the big truck to pick it up, take it down to Stafford, we'll obviously assess the lock and nut situation when we get back, where it be welded off or use the Dynamec plate C to remove, then we'll fit the tyre and they're going to pick up the car next Tuesday. So that saves them paying their arm and a leg to get it recovered back up to Warrington. Anyway, little bit of my mid-afternoon run over. I was out this morning already, I didn't video it, but hey, I went down to Gloucester. So if you saw me on the M5 at about half five, six o'clock this morning in the Nissan Navara, that was me. And I picked up a Ford Transit T260 little van. And I'll post a little picture after this clip. After this clip. Uh, the reason why I went in the Navara, because taking the 18 ton accident unit is not 
financially viable in fuel or obviously winning on the job with profit margins nor on the transport or trailer it's just bare hassle and miber hitching it up and putting the ramps down and four straps on so it's a navara the van was empty piece of piss it was sound so i'll post a little picture and i'll put it on the facebook page as well if you're not following the facebook page i've got over nearly four thousand or four and a half thousand followers so the little link is below gdv recovery and 24 hour mobile tires also on my sister company i don't know why i'm pointing that way or that way it's probably this way but my other facebook page is stafford mobile tires if you want to see a little bit more of the daily tire action on there anyway thanks for watching like and subscribe drop me a comment below i will reply and i will see you soon over and out greg at gdb Yeah, you. Sounds just that bit of damage on the front uh, passenger wing. Yeah, it's been on there a while, that one. Yeah, so I'm just have to cover my backside, that's all. Has it got enough charge for when we unload it and stuff to move around, has it? Ah, oh, spot on. Wicked.